Hi guys, welcome back. I'm just about to get ready for my day and I wanted to take you guys along with me. I also wanted to chat about the few things I was alluding to in my last video. So I hope you're ready for a classic chit chat get ready with me. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. So I wanna try to do my makeup like this TikToker I've been following. I love the way she does her makeup. She does like the pink under eye thing with a little bit of blush. I don't really have any of the products she uses, but I'm going to figure something out with my collection. Her name is Liv Hudson. Her at is Liv Hudson Makeup. I'm going to be using this foundation today. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Never used it. Where have I been? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be using the shade 2N1 Desert Beige. This is like so many people's go-to and I've never tried it for some reason. But let's give it a shot. I'm using my MAC 170 brush to apply this. So as a lot of you have noticed, I kind of ghosted you guys last week, which was not planned at all. I'm actually coming out of one of the worst weeks I've had in a very, very long time, but I think I'm on the other side of it now. Things are resolving, but I wanted to talk about it because there's a few things that I feel like aren't talked about enough. So let's get into it. So the first thing and the biggest thing that happened was that I had to take my cat, Ren, to the vet hospital. And that's because he was having a urinary blockage, which can be very, very serious and life-threatening. But I wanted to tell you all of the signs and symptoms I saw in Ren, because I think it's very important, because this is such a common thing that happens to male cats. It's so common that his doctor said there's always at least one cat in the hospital dealing with that at all times. I'm now going to get into concealer and for my concealer I'm using my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in the shade Cotton Candy but I'm also going to mix in a little bit of this Danessa Myricks Color Fix in the shade Bubblegum. So I'm just going to put a little dollop of this on a palette. So I'm just going to apply this normally. I'll get back to my story in a second here. I might not say everything I'm doing today so products will be in the description but this is what I really wanted to try try out. And then I'm going to add some of this under my eye as well. This is going to really brighten it up and I'm planning on using a cool pink blush. So it's just going to look really cohesive and beautiful and smooth. I'm excited to see if this works out <laughs> for me. It's the first time I'm trying this so could be just spewing BS and I don't even know. <laughs> Hold on. I just need to pause and blend this out because I think it's going to dry. Okay, trust the process, trust the process. I'm saying that to me and not you guys, but maybe trust along with me. <laughs> but as I was saying, I thankfully caught his symptoms super, super early on, but that's only because I knew the signs beforehand because it had happened to my mom's cat, Valentino. A urinary blockage can be triggered by a bunch of things. I have a list from the vet here. It can be because of stress among the humans in the home, either final exams, arguments, or sickness. Someone can be moving in or out, construction in the home, weather change, earthquakes, new furniture, moving to a new home, changing their food, humans changing schedules, which the changing schedule thing is what I believe it was because I was traveling for three weeks and it happened the week I got back, which I thought they were going to be completely fine because they were staying with my roommates who are a big part of their everyday routine. At least one of them is home because they're working on opposite schedules, but because I work from home, I think me being away for three weeks was just a little too long for them. So that's what I believe triggered this whole thing. So I wanted to talk about the signs and symptoms I saw in Ren. I'm now going to bronze and contour with the Milk Makeup Sticks. I'm using Baked in the Bronzer and Toasted in the Sculpt Stick. So a few days before I got back from my trip, Ren had peed outside of his litter box kind of on the mat, which I took note of because that is highly unusual. That has never happened ever. But fast forward, to about a week later. This was the day I brought him to the vet. I noticed he was extra, extra clingy, which in the morning usually he's not much. He usually has a lot of energy, but he would not leave my lap. He was constantly following me. He was just very sleepy as well. And Lani was a huge help as well because she was just looking at him with a very concerned facial expression. I even have a video of it, which I'll input in here. Yeah, he was just really, really tired. Lani was looking at him weird. There was just a vibe in the air. So I go about my morning. I am doing something in the kitchen, but I noticed Ren's butt was hanging outside of his litter box. So I went over and shoved his butt back into his litter box because I didn't want him to pee on the floor again. 
um, and I was met with a very weird facial expression from Ren, which I was expecting more of a grumpy one because I just shoved his butt back into the litter box. Then I noticed he was kind of straining to pee, so I sat down with him. Nothing was happening. I feel like I was there for at least five minutes and I was starting to get very concerned, but then I thought maybe he was pee shy or something, so I decided to leave him be for a few minutes and I was going to go check up on him in a few minutes, but because I have ADHD and I was doing a bunch of tasks before beforehand, I kind of forgot about him, so 10 to 15 minutes had passed. I remembered. I went to go look and he was still in his litter box straining to pee. That's when my heart started racing. I'm like feeling those emotions again. I was so, so scared. I just knew it was time to go to the hospital. Thankfully, my brother wasn't working. So he drove Ren and I to the vet hospital. Um, I was crying way too much to drive. So we got there in 10 minutes. They took him in right away and miraculously he had a little room left in his bladder. He was just very uncomfortable, but not in pain. His blood test came back normal, so did his kidney levels, they were fine. I'm going to use a little bit of this as my blush and then I'm going to top it off with the House Labs Dragon Fruit Days blush. I think that's going to be really pretty. Leaving the vet without him was so hard. The whole ride back was kind of a blur. I just remember crying the entire time. It was really hard, but <laughs> a really funny part. My brother took me to Starbucks just to try to lift my spirits. And while I was ordering, the girl was like, oh, hi, how are you? And I was like, I'm doing really good. I was like bawling and I know they can see me, like the camera's right there, but my voice was cracking, my brother was laughing, so that kind of helped to make me giggle a little bit. But anyways, <laughs> moving on, um, Ren was there for I believe three days. I was able to go pick him up on the third. I wasn't able to visit him during his stay, but they sent me daily photos, um, which was really, really nice. So he had what is it called? He had struvite crystals and nothing more serious. So that's one of the better cases in this scenario. He didn't have any kidney stones. Um, he didn't have any blood in his urine. He doesn't have a bladder infection or anything. It was just those crystals. Um, so he had a catheter in for a few days and they took it out on the third day. And I just had to wait till he peed on his own without a catheter and he did. He was a very good boy, they said. They were sad to see him leave. They just adored him. So that was a very high compliment. I mean, they were happy he was going home, of course, but he's, he's a good boy, they said. And I was like, I'm sure you tell everyone that, but I know he's, He's a really good boy. <laughs> but they said I needed to switch his diet, which I purchased some urinary care food, and I also increased the amount of water fountains I have in my house. I always had one and they love it, but I don't know why I never thought to put one on each level of my house, just so that it was easier for them to always drink water. So just by increasing the amount of water available is really, really good. And I'll also share the food I give them because I don't know what it is off the top of my head. But yeah, that was the scariest thing that had happened last week and what caused everything else to be extra stressful than it was. But I just wanna take a little break to do my brows and prime my lids, so please enjoy the brow intermission. Feeling 50-50 about this situation, but I'm still trying to trust the process. Now for my eyes, I'm using two Huda Beauty palettes. First one being this Warm Matte Obsessions palette. And I'm also going to grab some of these cooler pinks from the Rose Quartz one. Probably these two. I'm first going to set my brow bone with a little bit of setting powder, just so I get a nice diffused transition. So now that I told you guys about Ren, um, I hope that was helpful. If anything was wrong with your male cats or your babies, you would know right away like I did. Um, and hopefully now that I let you know on his symptoms, you'll be able to identify if anything were to happen. Well, and he's done his meds now, which is so good. They sent me home with two different medications. One was an antispasmodic to help relax his urethra and the other was for discomfort. It was like a mild painkiller and it kind of made him dazed out, which was kind of funny. He's back to himself, his goofy little self, so it's really, really nice to see. But I quickly wanted to mention other things that were happening on the side of that. First being nonstop trouble with the people who are doing my kitchen. They've honestly ghosted me for two months. They're so hard to get a hold of. Honestly, 
I started to feel like I was getting scammed last week. Um, so I messaged the girl who designed my kitchen and who was my main contact and my email was blocked. But thankfully my mom had worked with her in the past. So she had her number and she quit and moved on to a different company, which I thought was really weird that she never let me know or never got me in contact with the new person or somebody I could get updates from and communicate with. Thought that was really weird. She also made a ton of mistakes on my kitchen. Um, it's just been like non-stop trouble. I don't wanna say anything I regret because I'm still really, really mad and frustrated about the situation, but that's all I wanna say, but that added to the soup of stress, you know? I used this one first, which was the cream to powder formula. Now I'm going into this one because I need to build up the depth. And the last big thing that added to that soup of stress, I don't even know where that came from, I guess. I was super stressed, super stressed, I don't know, was that there was a third party user who copyright claimed 10 of my recent videos for a song that I have the license to use. Bullshit. I feel like it was kind of a scammy situation. I don't know if they thought it was going to go unnoticed by me or something, but it's it was really, really weird and stressful for no reason. So basically when your videos get copyright claimed, all the revenue that they gain will go to whoever claimed it. I won't get a cent. So imagine working a shift and you don't get a cent at all. It goes to some random person, like a customer you served that day. What? <laughs> That's basically what the situation was with 10 of my most recent videos. And I was like, don't play with me right now after I have to pay these crazy vet bills. Do not, do not push. But thankfully I won the disputes and they didn't get a cent from my videos, so. So that was why I was gone. But now let's get into the fun makeup, okay? Um, this is turning out cute. I like the cool pinks with the oranges. It just reminds me of a sunset or something, like summer. I'm going to add a little bit more definition near my lashes, just to add more volume to my lash line. And I'm using the darker of the cream to powders. I actually really like these palettes. I never was into her other nine pan palettes that she brought out, but I'm digging these ones. This is a Glisten F3 brush, by the way. That's a really good one to create little liners with. I'm just going to continue building up the depth a little bit in here, and then I'm going to switch to the other palette. Now I'm taking this flat brush. This is a Smashbox buildable concealer brush. <laughs> And I'm taking these two shades right here. I kind of dipped into this one and then a little into this one. And I'm going to pat this on the inner portion. You know what? That's looking a little bit more blue than I would like. I'm going to take a little bit of the blush, the house lapse one. And I'm also going to take a little bit of the Cherry Blossom Huda Beauty Powder and do a little mixy mix of that. That way I have a color coming from whatever else is on my face. I think this will be better. We'll see what it looks like on the other eye because I think it's too late for this one. <laughs> Damn it. Just going to diffuse the edge a little bit. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to repeat it on this eye and I'll be right back. I just threw on some mascara. I used my Makeup Forever Professional Mascara and now I wanna add a little inner corner highlight and I think this shade from Rare Beauty is going to be perfect. It's the Mesmerize shade. It's a little pinky. I actually really like how it's coming together. I think this is really pretty. What sold me was the pink on the lid. So now I gotta figure out a lip for this look and maybe if I wanna add a few lashes. So for my lip combo, I'm going to go for something a bit more warm to kind of complement what I have on my outer corner here. Um, so I'm taking this one liner from Tower 28 in the shade Work of Art, and then I'm topping that off with the AF94 Give Em Lip High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Honey, I'm Home. Hmm, that lip liner might be a little bit brown. That's because I meant to grab this one. Damn it, I meant to grab Fill Me In. <laughs> That was my vision, because that one has a little bit of a brown tinge to it, so I thought it would be better. I think that's better. It's gonna be better. <laughs> I think I'm okay for lashes. I'm happy with just mascara. I'm just going to take a little bit of setting powder because I forgot to set my forehead. I'm taking Pound Cake from Huda Beauty.
Now that this is all finished, I really, really like this effect. Not for every day, but it's super fun and I love how brightening it is under the eye. Let me know what you guys think. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you thought it was helpful. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will make sure to link everything I used in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. I decided to add lashes last second. I used the So Extra Lash Wisps from Kiss. They're so cute. I'm happy now. I love this makeup. Okay, bye. <laughs>